Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. Today we're not at a Goodwill, we're actually at Savers. So I'm super excited to take you guys in there with me. But if you guys love thrifting, love thrifts and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button for notifications to add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at ishadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's head to the store right now and check it out. I haven't been here in a hot minute and I'm super excited to see what they have today. Okay, they have double stamps for now for the 14. Isaac Mizrahi. Oh, that's Michael Kors. Okay, okay, not bad so far. All right, this is the maybe. We have this other Michael Kors right here. This one's actually not bad either. It's so hard to look at the bags, unfortunately. <laughs> because they're like really stuck on here. And this one's not too bad either. 34. Then there's this coach for 40. Another one for 39. That one has messed up corners. Then there's like this was not a big Buddha. Like the pearl things. Check out this fake Louis Vuitton. 20 bucks. Alright, so you guys, we have a lot of bags to look through all the way down there. Hopefully, we can find some cool ones down here. But this is where they have the less expensive handbags. The ones that are tied up are usually priced a lot more. But sometimes you can get lucky and they don't find all of the like name brand designer bags and they end up over here so this little bag is so cute but it's just like pleather but okay check this out you guys are going to die she got like this like fake bayo bayo it's actually pretty cute it's only $3.99 and then like an off-white so totally. Then I'm pretty sure this is like not an authentic um, Miu Miu. As you can see from right there. But how much is it? $14.99. Doing the corner test. Oh, you can also see that like it's like ripping kind of right there. I also found this little Michael Kors wallet. 14 I think I might get this. It just needs a little cleaning and it should be good to go. Is this a Jared Bradley wallet? Oh, it's like broken right there. It is a Jared Bradley though, but um, yeah, it's definitely damaged right there in that corner. $5.99. There's this little coach shoulder bag, but this one's $14.99. Oh my gosh, this bag is so hilarious. Who makes it? Aldo. <laughs> That's so funny. This. We look at this little skull bag. Mark Jacobs Daisy. Alright, the hunt. Continues. So looking for more bags. A couple of the are Bradleys. This one has a hole in the corner though, so I definitely don't want to pick this one up. And this one has like a little bit of dirt, like staining, but it's not the worst. Four ninety nine. Why do I love the interior print so much? I wish this was a long chump. <laughs> it's like the perfect color yellow too. I'd be so excited. I'm just going through the last set of bags. Just checking everything out. Making sure I don't miss anything. I'm still on the fence about the wall of oh, the bags in the front. Oh, little Paul Frank. Um, those Michael Kors ones up at the front, but I don't know, we'll see. 
That was an Ann Taylor loft. Oh, we reached the end of the line. We went through all these bags. All right, looking through the kids' toys. Seeing if I can find anything for the boys. Oh gosh, Lincoln Logs. These are so cool. <laughs> $14.99, yikes. Checking to see if they have any American Girl dolls. I don't see any, but I do see a couple of Furbies. Those are the new ones too, I think, with like the digital eyes. I remember I got a couple of those at the Goodwill like at the end of last year. So fun, the kids love them until Eliza kind of broke all of them, so. <laughs> Um, let me see if there's any cool, I always look for, um, like Thomas the Train, because Thomas the Train toys are super expensive. And maybe any, like, cars. Oh, this one's a good one, because that one has a lot of them. And they're all, like, cars, right? One, two, three, four. Huh, not bad. Ooh, that one has Mater. Alright, there are so many of the Cars ones. Like they have these, these, are these? No. These, these, these. There's also these. Oh, I cannot. Too many good cars. I'm gonna try not to buy all of these, but it's gonna be really hard. Let me just look at what else they have. <laughs> Before I decide on those, let's see. Oh, these little Lego people. Okay, don't really see anything else. All right, you guys, I kind of like this chair. It's a little cleaning, but I kind of like it. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest. Office machine, ten dollars. <gasps> oh, it's ancient. It's prehistoric. This is really cool. Ten dollars. There's also a red one, but I feel like it's not as cute as this one. That one looks really cool. Okay, I'm considering both of them. I'm just gonna leave them there though for the time being. Oh my gosh, this like ottoman is really cute. They have like all sorts of flat irons. Oh my gosh. All of the coffee makers. A roaster oven. Lean mean grilling machine. Oh, this is like the food preserving thing. 30 bucks. Jeez Louise. Is this a bread box? Wow, that is an intense bread box. How cute is that fish thing? Oh, this is pretty. She used to be able to get uh, all kinds of stuff. Like oh my gosh, the cat with the fish is so adorable. Oh, where'd the other half go? The salt and pepper shaker? Oh, it is. Where's the other half? Oh my gosh, this whale. Wooshy the whale. Oh, Lily made it. Ooh, look, another whale. <laughs> That's cute too. What is this? Looks crumpled. I got smashed in Reno. Oh goodness. This is Hope. There's another I got smashed in Reno mug. Don't think I see any anthropology mugs yet, but. Oh no. How cute. This is from Daiso. How much did they price? 150. They knew it was from Daiso. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It has like a little egg thing. <laughs> it's tiny. Ooh, Pyrex. 
Classic. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that, it's like blue and white heaven. Temptations, $7.99. Oh my gosh, that's like in the shape of an apple. <laughs> Chantal. <gasps> Kitty cats. Kitty cats. $10.99. Louisville stoneware. How adorable are they? Multiple giraffes. These, oh, these are like their napkin rings, obviously, but they're so cute. But there's only four. Full marble plate. Oh my gosh. I have died and gone to heaven. This is the cutest vase. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's only $4.99. They actually didn't overprice it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, these are so intense. <laughs> That jaguar or like whatever those cats are, tiger, looks like Cartier. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. The pig, the bear, the other pig. I think that's a kiwi or I don't know. Goose? Oh, the rhino. Fabulous. The elephant too. Oh, the tusks are missing. Oh, the little monkey um, teapot. Oh, the haunted baby section. Don't look. I'll shield your eyes. <laughs> Let us look at the vases. <gasps> this feels like um Himalayan sea salt. And I think it might be actually a Himalayan sea salt lamp. Or sea salt um, vase. $7.99 is like really cheap for that. Because that is... Even if you were to like grind it down to eat, like that is not too expensive. Can you actually eat that though? Maybe not. I'm like looking at it though, like that is tray chic. I kind of like it. You guys, these little turtles on this face, they're like ugly and cute at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright you guys, I just left the store. Let's go home and I'll show you guys what I got. Hey guys, look, we're back inside my room and it's been a couple days later but I'm super excited to share with you guys what I did end up getting from um, Savers. And I didn't really buy too many items but the items that I did get I do love immensely. Um, okay, I actually only purchased three things. So, the first thing I have here I really, really like and I think it's really cool especially once I clean it up. And it is this, I don't know if it's gonna, yeah, there it goes. This is a vase that's like a tree trunk and it has a little bird on it. And I think it's a really cool, I love the fact that the tree trunk itself is in a high gloss and then the bird is in a matte finish. And I know like that's kind of like a small detail, but I think it's the little things that really um, make or break something and I think just that little attention to detail in doing that makes this such a really like such a beautiful piece I don't know where it's from there are no markings on the bottom um, all the tag all the stickers and stuff were um, taken off that were on there but I just think this is such a cool piece and it's gonna be pretty really pretty with just some flowers in there and I cannot wait to wash off the little bird and clean them up and start using this thing so this guy was four dollars and 99 cents oh though i did use a 30 percent off coupon so this ended up being five times seven which is 35 so it was three dollars and 50 cents for that little vase um then up next i had to get this bag it's not a um what is it called um it's not a bail bail but it looks like one. Uh, this guy was $4. It's an off-white with a black mesh. Really nice. Um, it does zip. It does zip across the top. And I think, yeah, it has a zipper pocket in there as well. So um, this piece was really cool. It's going to go up in the shop. Because I know I have um, a couple of you guys out there are Bale Bale fans just like me. And this is a really fun alternative. And... 
It's really cute. You'll never really be able to tell the difference either. Like, it looks just like it. Okay, the last item that I have is this Michael Kors. It's the... Oh, that way, yeah, well, that was $4, so 4 times $2.80? Yeah, I think so. Um, this one is Michael Kors Selma. It's in a dark brown. It has gold studs, and it does have the crossbody strap right here on the inside. And this bag is so cute. I feel like the Selma is actually, um, other than the Hamilton, the Selma is also, like, my, like, one of my top faves from Michael Kors. Um, this guy was $35.00. And it's he's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of like dirt marks or something on there. Um, really easy to clean that off. There are though a couple pen marks in the bottom. It looks like someone kept their pen like right there, and it just kept marking that same spot over and over, which is unfortunate. But it is just the bottom of the bag. And once you're starting, you start using it, have stuff in there. It's not very apparent at all. So, um, just like very superficial. But it's really really cute. And this is just a beautiful, easy bag to carry. I love this bag so, so much. I just love the classic silhouette. I love the structure. And I love that this is a Safiano. Safiano leathers are so resilient and so resistant to um, scratches. And it's also very resistant to, like, water and stains and stuff like that. So, though it, it did just get a little thing on there, but that should be no problem to clean off and should come off without a hitch. So... That is going to round out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I love Savers so much. And if you guys have not tried going to that store, haven't been to one, or um, I think about going one, definitely check it out. They have some amazing stuff. Don't forget, though, if you do end up going, uh, bring some stuff to donate. And it's some, sometimes they'll have sales. I think when I went, if you donated three bags of clothing, you got 30% off. So uh, I think normally it's if you donate six bags of clothing, you get a 30% off coupon. And that's off your entire purchase. And they also have um, coupons that they give you whenever you buy stuff. Uh, I believe like once you accumulate a certain number of points, then you will get um, discounts like that as well. So um, really, really cool and just such a great fun place to go look through. There's so much stuff there and you never know what you're going to find. So don't forget to not count out Savers. It's a really great thrift store and um, I believe in other states and also in Canada, I believe it's called Value Village and I think they're the same company. Um, I'm not too sure, but... Every time I see people thrifting, like, um, Miss Philly over in Canada, if you guys watch her, tell her I said hi, or if you guys haven't checked her out, Miss Philly is awesome. She's hilarious. She's always in Value Village, and whenever she looks at the tags, I'm like, those look just like the ones at Savory, except it just says Value Village. So, they could just be using the same tag system or whatever, but, um, even the layout and everything inside their stores is very, very similar, so I'm pretty sure that they're the same, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> actually, I should actually just ask an employee. Um, they might know. But, yeah. Uh, but thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tune in to tomorrow's video. Bright and early at 7 a.m. It's a new thrifting video. And today, the vlog goes up at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. This thing is so cool. $3.99. It's from Home Goods. <laughs> I looked at the price. It's originally $9.99. Oh, these are like for the shower room. This is from like, um, William Sonoma. Oh, what are these? I have no clue what these are for. 